So you're wondering when is the best time to apply for college? You might have heard of early action, restrictive early action, open emissions, rolling emissions, early decision one and two. And if you just want to know which one is most likely to help you get accepted to your dream college, I got you. We're going to talk about the pros and cons of each. And by the end of this video, you'll be pretty clear like, yep, that's the one for me. You've heard the early bird gets the worm. Well, in college admissions, it's been said applying early is equivalent to scoring 100 points higher on the SAT. It's not easy and you have to read the fine print but here are your options. Hey, hey, can you turn that music down? It's like living in a damn long club. Hmm. Early decision is like arriving early to a party. Applications are due November 1st, and they'll let you know if you got in or not by December 15th. Yeah, that early. So if you've done your research and you're sure that the college that you're interested in is your number one school and your GPA, SAT, ACT scores match, then early decision one might be an option for you. Now, normally arriving early to a party would be corny. But with highly selective colleges, you'd be happy just to get in. The most important thing to remember is that early decision is binding. So you, your parents, your counselor, the college are going to sign a form saying that you're only applying to one college early decision and that if admitted, you will definitely go there. And it's great if it's your dream school. I'm in girl, I'm in, hold on one second. Excuse me, can I get something to drink? Like one of those lemonades? That'll be $200 a glass. What? <laughs> I'm out girl. Oh, that's right. Applying early decision one means you're committing to going to that school regardless of the financial aid package that you end up with. Unless you can prove that somehow you can't afford it. My advice? every college has a net price calculator. Check it to see what you might have to pay because everyone doesn't pay the same amount for college. Sometimes you find out that the college costs a lot less than you thought it did. What happens if you change your mind or decide you don't wanna go? Well, your counselor probably won't help you because they signed. Worse, they might report you. And you don't wanna to apply to more than one on the low thinking they won't find out because you don't know who's friends with who at these colleges. Some colleges share their early decision admit list and if your name appears on two lists, you might find yourself rejected at both schools. Now, here's something that most people forget. If you're unhappy though, early decision isn't binding for all four years. You can transfer. Colleges can answer yes, no, and if they're not sure, they'll give you a chance to submit new grades and an additional letter of recommendations and move you to regular admissions or early decision two. What's early decision two? Sorry, I couldn't make that November 1st deadline, but I'm here. That's early decision two. Can't get everything together in time for early decision one by November 1st? Then the deadline for early decision two is a little bit later. You can apply by January 1st and you'll know whether you got in or not by mid early February. Now, more time to apply is great, but I will warn you, waiting to start with early decision two tends to be a little bit more competitive than early decision one. Why? Well, all the students that applied for early decision one at their highly competitive, maybe even slightly out of reach school that didn't get in is now trying to apply during early decision two, this time a little bit more practically to the same school that you're trying to shoot your shot for the first time. And I'm not saying you shouldn't apply, just know it might be a little bit more competitive. And if you do apply early decision one and you don't get in, know that you can still apply early decision two at a different school. Now your third option is restrictive early action. Hey, if I ask to come in here, are you gonna make me stay? Restrictive early action is non-binding. Meaning, if you get accepted, unlike early decision one and two, if you don't wanna go after you're accepted, you don't have to go. Great, so I'm just gonna come in here for a little bit and then I'm gonna go check out a few other places. Ow! Restrictive early action is also called single choice early action. Meaning, you can only apply to one private college restrictive early action. It's used at places like Harvard, Stanford, and Notre Dame. Some colleges will allow you to apply to a public college, a service academy, and a non-binding international school. But other than that, you cannot apply to any other private colleges while applying 
to one college restrictive early action. For most other colleges that offer early action, it's not restrictive. So you can apply early action to multiple schools. It's the same dates to apply, November 1st or the 15th. I will tell you this, UNC Chapel Hill and the University of Georgia is October 15th, but they'll get back to you and let you know if you got in by December 15th or 16th. And since restrictive early action and early action are non-binding, you get to choose if you want to go or not. You don't have to decide until May 1st, which is actually pretty nice because it then means that you can take all of your financial aid packages from all the colleges you've been accepted to, you can compare them and choose the best option for you. And that's just the start of the advantages of applying early. It'll give you a slight edge because colleges tend to admit more early decision applicants than regular applicants. I mean, out of all the colleges that you could have applied to early, when you could only pick one, you chose them. I mean, if that's not demonstrating interest and intent, I don't know what else is. And I'll explain more about that in a bit, but other advantages are you finish applying earlier, which means you're done with college applications. You find out earlier, which means that when other people are stressed out, you are not. Instead, you can start working on prom or scholarships. Ooh, and speaking of scholarships, when they're handing out merit scholarships, guess whose application is already on their desk? That's right, you. More money for you. You're watching Journey with Jordana, helping you get into and through college. Before I get into the disadvantages, if this is helping you, could you help me help other people by giving this video a thumbs up so we can spread to more people? The biggest disadvantage is that you might be tempted to rush putting in your application when you really need more time. If you're watching this and you're feeling late, don't stress, there's still time. Now, if you need more time, time to finish your applications, time to get one more semester of better grades, time to take the SAT or ACT one more time for a higher score, you can get more time with regular decision. Even if you applied early decision two or early action, you need to apply to some colleges regular decision two because you'll need options in case you don't get in. And if you do get in, you want financial aid package options. So there are three kinds of regular decisions. For the standard application, the deadline is January 1st or February 1st. But for a slight advantage, some colleges also have a priority deadline, which is a date set by some colleges to send your application in if you wanted to get the most consideration. And who wouldn't want that? But they'll still accept your application if you send it in the standard deadline, January 1st or February 1st. And they'll let you know if you got in by the end of March, April 1st, and then you can decide by May 1st. And you can apply to as many colleges as you want, except you need to know this. For schools that have early decision one and early decision two, and then have regular decision, it's incredibly competitive. Like college reps say, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference when you apply. But the numbers show that some colleges accept more than half of their students in the early application season. Is it because those students that are applying early are showing remarkable demonstrated interest and they have convinced the colleges that they're serious about going there? Or is it because the students that apply early have been working on their applications since 10th grade and are the most competitive and when the colleges see their apps, they're just like, wow, 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 you're in, you're in. And you're in. And by the time they get to regular decision, they're like, oops, we have no more seats left. Who knows? But now you know what you can do. If you're not going to one of those highly selected colleges, then for the most of the other great colleges out there, the January 1st and the February 1st deadline is normal. There are no disadvantages to applying regular decision. In that case, if you're applying regular decision, you're good. I forgot my ID. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Is that okay with you? Okay. I'm gonna come back next week. Is that okay with you? Are you just gonna roll with whatever I say? Because <laughs> that would be like rolling admissions. There's no deadline with rolling admissions. They just look at each application as it comes in and make a decision, and then they get back to you in about six to eight weeks. They just keep accepting students until the programs fill up or it's a few weeks before school, and you're gonna love this next one. Hello? <laughs> just, just come in? You mean like it's open, like open admissions. Open admissions are used by community colleges and trade schools. There are no SAT scores needed, no minimum GPAs needed. It's pretty easy for almost anyone to get in. Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Let me in. Let me in. But usually you have to graduate high school or get your GED. Feel free to put your questions in the comments as you look up your college deadlines and decide when you want to apply. When you're ready to take your next step, check out this video.